61A, lecture number 15, announcements. The CATS project is due Friday. You get a bonus point for submitting the whole project by Thursday. That's today. Homework 3 will be posted on Friday. It's due next Thursday. We have some advising office hour appointments, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. Those are just for advising, not for homework or project help. I know that there have been some long waits on the office hour queue this week. We are definitely trying to improve that situation. And I'm sorry if you're having trouble getting your questions answered. Remember that you're welcome to post private posts on Piazza, which will not be answered immediately, but will be answered eventually. And you're also welcome to discuss these problems with the other students that you know in the course, for example, from your tutorial group. And if they've finished a question already, then it's okay for them to take a look at your code and give you some advice. You can't share your code with someone who hasn't finished a question because otherwise they might just copy it and you need to write code yourself. But if you want to work with another student that's in the class, you're welcome to discuss any ideas and you're welcome to help people who aren't quite as far along as you are by taking a look at what they've done so far and giving them some advice. I know that your time is valuable and I don't want you all waiting around. We are trying to deal with this. It is an unusual semester where we've had much higher question volume on Piazza, much more demand for one-on-one -on -one office hours than we're used to, and we will try very hard to meet that demand, but please bear with us. Okay, back to the course content. Today is a very important day where you learn about mutation which is when a value actually changes. And this is not something that's happened in the course before, but it is very common and it's a core element of what we're going to be studying very soon in this course, which is what's called object-oriented programming, the current dominant paradigm for designing large programs and a wonderful bundle of ideas that includes as one of them, this notion of mutation. Okay, here we go. 